foreign minister, for one, isn't giving up on striking a new NAFTA deal with the United States. Chris Freeland says trade talks remain constructive, despite missing several key deadlines. Now, President Trump is raising the pressure on Canada, threatening to strike a separate agreement with Mexico. Earlier, I spoke to the former Mexican president, Felipe Calderon, who told me he believes Canada absolutely should be included in any deal. I want to be very respectful about my own government, but the point is, that's the fact right now. I'd rather have Canada with us. But in any case, good news is we can have a deal saving the trade with the United States, which is very important for both countries. However, uh, the devil is in the details. And I don't know the details, honestly. Somebody's talking about there is some kind of besides or secret agreement related with establish a cap in Mexican export of vehicles. And honestly, if that is true, it's good in the sense that it saves the industry from any blocking temptation, mm -hmm. but also is, is bad because it's going to prevent the most successful business store in Mexico. So industry of cars are creating a lot of jobs. And paradoxically, if you block export from Mexico to the United States, you will have more Mexican workers trying to to migrate to the United States, which is a bad, bad idea, honestly. That is, an inc that is a very interesting point. Uh, so you're saying that this could end up in a loose situation. They think that they're moving jobs to the United States, but they could also end up with a problem with the illegal Completely. immigration. This is a bad story for both, for the United States, because even the American cars will be more expensive for the consumers in the United States. And it's gonna be, they are going to be probably those cars out of the competition. No? Uh, you, you know, in the, in the middle of the crisis 2009, the three big companies in the United States, Chrysler, Ford Motor Company, and General Motors, they saved the companies from bankruptcy with their plants in Mexico because they were able to create incredible, fancy, competitive cars. It's, like, it's a story of integration. President Trump would totally take you on on that and say that was at the expense of American jobs. That's uh, what they're negotiating. On the contrary, on the contrary. This integrated way to work saved million of jobs in the United States. Actually, actually, there are more than 1.2 American families depending directly on the export towards Mexico. Mm -hmm. And even more, we are estimating at least 6 million families of American workers dependent on the trade with Mexico, including the car industry. Because we just see the level of integration we have. A car crossed the oh, border absolutely. like six, seven times. Um, yeah. So a Dozens lot of American of jobs are now under trade, I would say, if we cancel the trade or we reduce the trade with Mexico. Yeah. It's not only a Mexican story. You know I can't let you go without talking to you about the wall. <laughs> Which <laughs> wall? I'm sorry. <laughs> wall Street? We can There's talk one. about There's it. There's one That's right here. Nice yeah. um, the wall. President Trump continues to say it will be built and Mexico will pay for it. At the, at the end of the day, do you think that will die with well, any... Well, you know, I don't know what happened in the States, but we the Mexicans uh, take the words of the president of the United States every day less seriously with all respect no so yeah maybe there will be a wall you want to play a wall in your garden in your landscape you want to be an ugly monument in in your in your garden you can do that but we are not going to pay for your own decisions and your for your public work i don't care about that but the wall you know the wall is a solution of uh, probably before middle age no china try a wall long centuries ago and it's completely useless what is doing china today is the one bell one road project which is investing massively in asia and africa and that could be a quite smart strategy i think that would be the solution for the 21st century not a wall but i will i don't want to be a trap in the discussion of the wall i know there are a lot of political feelings and strategies behind that i respect that of the president of the united states but it's clear that is not going to work for the United States, and definitely we are not going to pay any single cent of that.